Hello, in the last lesson we looked at an uh, if statement and it came up with some key words uh, or key sort of elements like using the greater than symbol and the less than symbol and some key words like and um, in there and I want to explore those words and those symbols in more detail. So let's take a look at our Python shell. There are different ways of comparing variables in Python. Um, I'm going to set up some variables. A, I'm going to set to 3, and B, I'm going to set to 4. Okay, so <clears throat> let's do some comparisons. If I type in A is greater than B, I get the answer false, because A is equal to 3 and B is equal to 4. So A is not greater than B. 3 is not greater than 4, so I get the value false. If I did B is greater than A, I get the value true. If I did A is less than B, this returns true because 3 is less than 4. If I did B is less than A, I get false because 4 is not less than 3. There are other operators I can use. So I can use greater than or equals to, or less than or equals to. Oops, there we go. So this is greater than. And this is less than. Okay. So let's take a look at those in action. Is, gre is A greater than or equal to B? Let's have a think. A is 3 and B is 4. A is not greater than or equal to B, so it's going to return false. If I did B is greater than or equal to A, the answer is going to be true. Let's look at that in, instead of using variables, let's look at that using actual values. 3 greater than or equal to 4. Not true. If I typed in 4 is greater than or equal to 4, the value is going to be true because 4 is actually equal to 4. Works the other way around as well. 4 less than or equal to 4 is true. If I did 3 is less than or equal to 4, then this is true because 3 is less than 4. What if I wanted to check if a value is just equal to something? Right, well let's try this. A is equal to B. Well the answer is false because A is 3 and B is 4, they're not equal. If I make the two values equal, like 5 is equal to 5, then the value is true. What if the values aren't equal? So A is 3 and B is 4. A is not equal. We use the exclamation mark followed by an equal sign. B. Through A is 3, B is 4. The answer here is true. Because A and B are not equal. So we're getting some Boolean comparisons here. True and false. It's worth playing around with those. Really get to, to know what they actually mean. Very soon we're going to look at how we use them in a, in a program, but for now I want you to practice those. The other thing we came across were some key words, and, or, and not. We looked at, in the previous program, we just saw and being used. These two words here, or and not, I want to explore as well. So let's take a look at those. Let's knock up a few spaces here. Okay. If a value is true, for example, true and true, the return statement is going to be true. If I had true and false, the return statement is going to be false because for an and to work, two conditions need to be true. So let's have a look. 3 is equal to 3 and 4 is greater than 3. Those two statements are correct because 3 is equal to 3 because that's true and 4 is greater than 3 so that's true. So this will return true. If I did 3 is equal to 4 and 4 is greater than 3, this returns false because 3 is not equal to 4 even though this is true, this first statement isn't true so that returns false. Both statements have to be true in order for it to work. If I did 3 
is equal to 4 and 3 is greater than 4, this also returns false because both statements are false. In order for AND to work, both statements have to return to true. And you can extend this as well. 3 is equal to 3 and 4 is greater than 3 and 10 is less than 20. Those are three conditions that are all true, so the thing, you know, the statement evaluates the true. Or works slightly differently. Let's take this second statement here. This returned false because three is not equal to four. If I duplicate that, but this time use the keyword or, three is equal to four. We know that's not true. Or four is greater than three. This will return true because with an or, only one of the statements has to be true. If I make both statements false, so three is equal to four, or three is greater than four, it returns false because both those statements are false. At least one of them has to be true. So that's and and or. The other one I want to look at is not. If I say not true, I get false. If I say not false, I get true. Not basically fit, flips it around. So how can we look at that? All right, if I type in not three is equal to four, we know the statement's false, so this will return true. So do you remember when both of those conditions were false up here? We had false. Well, let's make it true. Not three is equal to four and not three is greater than four. That becomes true because we basically flip those two statements around. Bit complicated, but have a practice. If you practice these things, you get to know them quite well and it will help you write your programs later on. Just to really confuse things, you can do not not true. What do you think this one's going to do? True. Why is it true? Because not true becomes false. So not false must be true. What about this one? Not 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 true. What's that going to be? It's false. Why? Because not true is false, not false is true, and not true must be false. Get it? Confusing, but fun. Have a practice, see what you can do, try mixing them up and see what happens. Best way to learn is to play. Have fun!